Meteorologist Jeff Ray joins us now live. Jeff, what kind of impact are we looking at possibly seeing here in North Texas from this storm? I think we end up with some very heavy rain. There, there's at least a chance of it, especially in our eastern counties. I'll show you here in just a moment. Let's talk about beta, what's been happening. Now, this is at 36 hours ago. It was 266 miles to the southeast of Houston. Now, through the course of the 36 hour period, it traveled only about a hundred miles. And in that time, looped around itself about three times. So we told you how unpredictable this storm would be. It is still forecasted to continue to move to the Northwest. Right now, it has 60 mile per hour winds. It's moving to the West Northwest at about six miles per hour. It's gonna continue that path and make it on shore sometime at the end of the day tomorrow in the early evening hours, somewhere around Port Lavaca. Now, it is forecast to maybe take 24 hours right around that area before it starts moving again towards Houston. It'll take about a day and a half for it to get to the Texas-Louisiana line, maybe two days as long as that going into Louisiana, bringing heavy rain the whole time. Now, it's not gonna become a hurricane. It's only gonna weaken as it comes to shore. So there's just tropical storm warnings out for a large swath of the coast. Those tropical force winds are already into Houston and Galveston. And you see how the storm weakens as it starts interacting with land as it draws closer. So it won't be a tremendous windstorm. There will be some storm surge with it because of its slow duration and its slow approach. But for us, the rain chances show up tomorrow. Not so much in the morning, but by the time we get into the midday and afternoon, we're talking about 60, 70% chance of rain. We didn't have all that wildfire smoke in the air like we did yesterday. We had some, still a little bit of haze, but there's the sun calling it a day and calling the last weekend of summer. Didn't feel like summer out there. 81 degrees was the high after that cool morning low of 57. It's 75 now and a little muggy out there because that humidity is back. I think your morning commute is fine tomorrow, but your evening commute could be full of rain, and then that rain will only pick up through the overnight hours, and I think Tuesday there's going to be even more rain. The precipitation chances go all the way to Wednesday, but most of that stacked tomorrow, and on Tuesday, rainfall amounts, well, this is just one forecast model, keep in mind, and this is the one that really brings the heavy rain, but you can see three to four inches of rain possible in our eastern counties seven-day forecast we get this big rain chance and then on Wednesday it tapers away and temperatures not so bad we're in the mid 80s on Thursday and Friday upper 80s on Saturday storms return to the forecast on Sunday